Hello and welcome back. So today we've got £500 worth of £2 coins we're going to have a hunt through. Looking for the commemorative, the ones with more than face value. But ideally, we want one of the few we're still missing. So what are we missing? We're missing Commonwealth Games uh, Wales. We are missing... There's a space for the World War One Navy Centenary with the flag error, which is a variant of this one here. Uh, and Shakespeare comedies. And that is it. And we've been stuck on these last two with the one variant for some time now. So let's cross our fingers. We've got the rarest one, Commonwealth Games Northern Ireland. Let's see if we can get lucky like we have on the live streams and get one of the ones we still need. So. Oh, these are tough old bags aren't they right so that's technologies we don't want technologies but anything else would be good but I'm quite excited because as of recording this video I'm not sure when this one might go up the week after I've been to the Royal Mint but I'm very very excited to go a whole bunch of people are, have messaged me saying that they're going as well along with a whole bunch of other coin tubers and I'll be sure to make a video of that. Also, I've got a week till I'm on holiday. Lord Kitchener there. He's a common one. But he's our first commemorative. But yes, we've got... I've got just over a week till my holiday. And I haven't booked it yet. Because <laughs> I've not been particularly organised. But I'll be sure to make a couple of videos whilst I'm out there. Lord Kitchener again. And there we've got Charles Dickens, which we've got a counter for. The counters for Charles Dickens, Guy Fawkes, VE Day Anniversary, and Commonwealth Games. So three of the common ones, and then the rarest ones in the two pounds to find. But no, we are in desperate need of one of those two that we're still missing. It feels like it's been quite a while since we had a new one. Ooh! <gasps> That's the full flag error, isn't it? Is that the full flag error? It looks like it, doesn't it? Holy Toledo. I've had partial flag errors, but that is the most pronounced. Sorry, for those of you not wary, this should be a straight line there on the mast. That is definitely an error, if not the full flag error. Holy Toledo. Wowie. Well, that is superb. I'm a bit blown away by that. Wow. Well, just sometimes feel like we've been stuck. We've got anyone for the book. Woo! <laughs> One down, two to go. Wowie! I completely lost my trailer thought there. Wow. A bit more luck like that. I'll be laughing. We've got the wireless transmission there. Another common one. But in the live streams, we have had some bonkers luck. And I was thinking, maybe I should just switch over the bags I opened. And I'm so glad I didn't, because if I got that on the live stream, and not for the YouTube videos, I'd have been a little bit gutted. I'd have been a little bit gutted. We've got Shakespeare's Tragedies. Another one that's slightly more on the face value. Obviously, the comedies is the... One that you really, really want out of the three. Although they have supposed to supposedly have similar mintages, I have a feeling, and I've said it before, that the comedies is going to be one of the mintages that they have to revisit and reduce. Because you guys have been watching my videos for all this time, and you've seen how few comedies we get compared to tragedies and histories. I'm almost certain that the mintage of them is wrong. Well, they might have minted that amount, but... Um, I don't know, maybe they're in a back off in a back room at the mint. I'm gonna get melted down. We've got the World War One uh, Army Centenary there. That's a common one. There we go. God, look, these bags only got little tears in one corner, so they're easy to open, but these are pretty idiot proof. Oh, I see something coming up there. 
like see something over there. It looks like the London Underground train. That's what it is. It's another stunning one. Wow, we're having some good luck. Underground train with the um around the rim it's got what looks like looks look like the tube map. Obviously on the um um the roundel it says please uh, mind the gap. Does it say please mind the gap? And this is mind the gap, at least. Which is a pretty neat one. But no, we got my I got my Paddington this week as well. Again, um I do record these about two weeks in advance, just in case there's any problem with the bank ordering my coins, which there has been in the past. We've got Golden Guinea there. Another one slightly more than face value. Having some really good luck. We've got four over face value and one absolutely exceptional one that we need for the bug. But the Paddington at the... Where is he? At the Cathedral. Another stunner. Another stunner. Along with the 2018 silver proof ones as well. Adding to my growing collection of silver proofs. I've still got a whole bunch off to the side that I need to record because I was uploading them on a Sunday morning. But I just hadn't had the time recently to um, record and edit them, even though they are quite short videos. Things have been a, bit, a little bit manic. But we've got Brunel's portrait there. He's common. I did laugh, have to laugh the other day at work. Um, in the float, someone said, there's a, there's a, two, there's a two pound coin with a design on it. I came over there quite excited to have a look. It was only uh, Charles Dickens though, unfortunately. We've got Abolition of the Slave Trade there. So this has got a texture finish you can see there. The uh, album, the collector sets or the year sets, whatever it is, for that year it has a smooth finish. So someone's broken it out of the set and paid it into circulation. There's a chance of finding that, which is in, technically an NIFC, a variant of some description. But we've never found one of those. Similar to the Battle of Britain 50p, but we live in hope. One of these days, one of these days, we might just find it. Wouldn't that be good? The question is, will we finish this book before the 2020 new £2 coin goes into circulation, which one of the guides at the Mint did say that was happening next year? Florence Nightingale there. It's a common design, but it's one of my favourite designs. Very pretty design. I'm hoping before Christmas. Wouldn't that be good by Christmas if we can um, have found those two last coins? Because it's not the rarest one, it's not Commonwealth Games Northern Ireland. I'm reticent to just call it quits. She's got the Queen of the Necklace there. Lots of people say, oh, is that rare? Is that rare? It's not rare. More of them made than any commemorative £2 coin. Just as much, just as, much as the writing. It's got 50-50 chance which way around it is. And I still get people messaging me saying, I've got this £2 coin, the, the writing around the rim is upside down. How, how, how rare and expensive is that? And I have to apologise and say I'm really sorry, but it's um, not rare at all. Very common to find. And the Pememba, the ongoing Pememba, the battle of it is Pememba rare. <laughs> Ooh, speaking of rares, we've got Britannia there. So the year 2015 is a low minted year, what, 650,000? 2016 is just over a million and 2017 is an NIFC, so any of these are good. Obviously 2017 would be the most valuable, 20, followed by 2015, 2016. We've got a 2016, which is very, very neat. We can add that to the ones over face value. Let's move these down a bit, we're running a bit out of space here. A bit more zoomed in than I usually am, I think. Wait, what's going on here? It's a bit better. A bit crooked, but there we go. We can live with that. But I'm quite excited to go to the Mint to meet a whole bunch of other coin tubers. The plan is to record some hunts with them. For my channel and for their channels. I'm going to take a bunch of coins down with me to be able to do those hunts. So I'm going to take my whole set down, which <laughs> is going to pack up the car a little bit. Got uh, rugby there. It's another common one. But I'm excited to meet some more subscribers because last time, I, every, every time I've gone, more and more people have turned up to say hi. 
And it's pretty awesome to actually meet you people in the flesh. And uh, actually, the other day I got recognised. Uh, it's happened once before when I was in uh, one of my banks. Ooh, another golden guinea. Wowee. I was in one of my banks getting the coins for the live stream. And someone kind of came over to me and said, you're Christopher Clex. I was like, yeah, that's me. <laughs> the second time I was walking back to the car from work. And I stopped to fill my vape up with some vape fluid. And he came up to me and said, are you Christopher Clex? I, I was a lot more calmer. I wasn't as panicky. <laughs> We've got St Paul's Cathedral. Victory in Europe anniversary. Obviously that's where Paddington is, on the new Paddington. Which I've still not found a new Paddington yet, a 2019 one. Just rub it in, there's another Paddingtonless St Paul's. But no, it's quite a bizarre being recognised still. Another abolition of slavery. It just happens when you least expect it. Because I guess when I'm recording the videos like now, when I'm talking to people on Discord, or over social media, or whatever it is, wow! Three golden guineas. Unbelievable. I'm sort of in, in a mindset of being Christopher Collect, whereas whilst I'm pottering around and shopping, or as I said, walking home from work, I'm not in the Christopher Collect mindset. But it's very, very strange. But it is lovely, so if you do spot me, do come and say hi. I'm more than happy to say, to say hello. I'm not going to get all stuck up. I might get a bit panicky and run away, but... <laughs> It's still a bit surreal. There we go. Another bag down. Well, to be fair, we could find nothing else and this would still be a good hunt. So anything further is like an absolute bonus. There we go. The penny hunt's going really well. I've done my first PO box. I've recorded my first PO box since uh, you guys sort of started sending them and I'm very very grateful to everyone that has done uh, Active Union there so with that I'm trying to get the most coins in a collection from the same year so I'm collecting pennies from the year 2000 and some of you lovely people have been so kind as to send some into the PO box obviously I've, I've, I probably will have recorded and uploaded more PO boxes since then so a uh, big thank you in advance of that Got another Lord Kitchener there. Oh dear. It's a bit grim. We've got two bags left, so I think we'll do those two together. So, for those of you that made it this far into the video, ooh, it's got a 2016, like me, Britannia, another 2016 Britannia, holy moly, unbelievable. But yeah, as I was saying, those of you that made it this far into the video, um, you might be interested to know I've got a Discord server, you do have to be over the age of 13 to join Discord there, and that's Discord's rules, not my rules, um, alternatively I am on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. Uh, so you can fire a message to me that way, or you can uh, sort of write into the PA box. All the details are down in the description. And we've got Charles Dickens to round off this coin hunt. But holy moly. What a good hunt we had. Three Golden Guineas. Two 2016 Britannias. London Underground Train. Shakespeare Comedies. But Star Pull. It's got to be that. What looks like full flag error. the World War One Navy Centenary. Not the HMS Belfast, I was used to call it. It's not the HMS Belfast, I got told off for that. But let me show you what I mean by flag error. If I show you, where is he gone? Where is he to? You can see there, on the mast, where the flag is there, isn't, there isn't supposed to be one. So there we go. Holy smokes. I've never found a full flag error. Like I said, I found partial flag errors before. But let's get that one into the book. There we go. So just Shakespeare's comedies to go. And then we've finished that page as well. So down to two. Two left. Can we do it? 
maybe sometime. Well, all that leaves me to do now is thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you've had some good luck in your hunts. And I'll see you next time for more coins. Bye.